Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the most influential horror game franchises to date. It has single-handedly shifted the market of what horror games are nowadays. Good or bad, doesn't matter. But what does matter is, is the original actually as good as I remember? As we remember? And most importantly, will it actually still be scary? <laughs> With the FNAF movie coming out soon, I thought what a better way to spend the coming months than to revisit all of the FNAF games and even attempt to 100% all of them. This means I will be doing all of the 2020 modes in every FNAF game. No matter how many countless hours of practice it will take, I will overcome everything in every FNAF game without a doubt. Or will I give up because chat has driven me crazy? What is going on in chat? I'm gonna ban it. I'm gonna ban it forever. Yeah, I decided to do this live. <sighs> but before we get to 420 mode, we must complete nights 1 to 5 and then night 6, which, fun fact, I had never even completed. For real though, this game is so loud for me. It just needs to be turned down. I don't, there's no volume button. Family Peter are looking for a security guard or what? Uh, uh. Damn it, I didn't get to read it all. Let's hear the lore. I, I, dude, we're in the first game. We're not even having, I haven't even started, started the first level yet. How am I supposed to get the lore out here? There's no lore to be, to, to be said. All right, here's some massive lore depth. See this nose? You can squeak it. Humongous lore, I know. So there's Bonnie. There's Chica. There's Freddy. There's Cupcake. There's the female bathroom. There's the male bathroom. Chem 4, a hallway. Wow, wow. Very, very interesting. Cam 4B. End of the hallway. Very, very interesting. Don't run. Don't yell. Don't scream. Don't poop on floor. Stay close to mum. Don't touch Freddy. Don't hit. Leave, bef leave before dark. Thank you, management. Don't poop on floor. That's the very, very important one to follow. Cam 1B. This is where all the boys hang out. This is where the gang is to go and have fun. Right here. Camp 5. Uh, this is where you get your masks. You know. So you can look absolutely splendid. Just like all the other animatronics. You know how it is. So this is supply closet. This is where all... Um... You know what? I'm not going to make that joke. Anyways, moving on. This is the west hallway. We're already at 2am. I'm already pretty much finished the game. Essentially. You hear the law, guys? You hear it? You hear the law? As you can see, this first level, very intense. Oh, guys, Bonnie's gone. Oh, my God. Oh, confirmed. Bonnie has moved. Oh, my God. Bonnie's moved again, guys. Bonnie is definitely on the move. Oh, here you guys. You hear him? You hear him? He's moving. I can hear him. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Oh, oh he's in the supply closet. We're all the Bonnie's moving again. Where'd he go? Oh, right. No, he did not. He moved. We didn't die on the first night. No, you didn't see this. Don't worry. Through pure skill, we don't die on first night. We just sit here and do nothing for the rest of the night. Skill. 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 It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. You think I'm stupid? Yes. You think I'm stupid? I said yes. Me dying on night one? Impossible. Bonnie. Weirdo. Foxy. Actual weirdo. All right, not the focus now, boys. It's time to focus. Get out of here. Leave. This is my area. What? I, this is bullying for what happened in night one. Where, where'd she go? She bought, how Bonnie? You, you, what, you the flash or something? How'd you get back there? Chica? Ch Chica, where'd you go? Chica, 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 where did you go? Chica. Chica? Okay, she's in the kitchen. <sighs> where she belongs. All right, night three. Let's go, boys. Already on night three. Woo, 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 woo. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks. Uh, most people don't last this long. What do you mean by that? I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 I'm laughing too. We can't be stopped. Woo, 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 woo. All right, night four. This is where I actually get serious. Oh, no. Now we're going to die every single time. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, what the what? Okay, Foxy. Foxy, are you all right? Nani. <laughs> Yo, Freddy, calm it down. 
Oui, 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 oui. You guys get all that? Because I sure didn't. Are you capping? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Let's go! I earned my $120. I earned my $120. Six night. Six? What you are about to witness might frighten you. I would advise any players that are good at FNAF to look away immediately as Nick is trash at FNAF. Night six. You are about to witness the dastardly murders of Atrodius dying over and over again. What? On night six. Yeah, this is well. Oh, damn it! Never mind, we got it. <laughs> All right, woo! I made 50 cents, let's go. 50 cents, yeah, woo! I love listening to Freddy just laugh at me the entire game. It's so fun. Freddy, shut the hell up. No one cares. Stop laughing. I get it. You're at the door. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Stop laughing at me. It's bullying. It's sexual harassment. It's abuse. I don't like it. So there is a wild chica there coming for that ass. He want to give you those back shots, but you don't want that. So keep the door closed. Are you stupid or just sick? Oh! I see. So just stupid. I have to pray. I have to pray Foxy doesn't kill me. I have to pray Foxy doesn't kill me. I have to pray Foxy doesn't kill me. Freddy, if you and me, I like we're friends, right? Like we we're friends. Like we are friends. Like you give me the long song, give me the lay, give me the long song, and I'll be happy with you. Like we, you and me, best buds. Like I will suck your cock right here and right now. Like all you have to do is give me, give it to me if I try. Like come on, please, please, please. You know you want to. You know you love me. You know you do. Like, you know, me and you, we're close, right? We are close. We, we're close. We're close. We're close. We're close. We're close. Hi, sweet boy. Do you think I can lick you from the top of your forehead all the way down to your crusty toenail? I also have this wrapping paper, so can I wrap you up and put a bow on your sweet as and rip it off and have my way? What? <laughs> Loki for real? Okay, Brett. Chica is my baddie. I need her so bad she makes me so lightly crazy. Loki, do you wanna join me in her later tonight? <laughs> Send this man to jail. <coughs> Send him to jail. <laughs> Send him to jail again. Johnny <laughs> jail is my bedroom. After my third attempt, we didn't have much more luck. We spent about five hours using the closed door strategy, in which every time we would go into the cameras to look at Foxy, we would close the door so that Freddy wouldn't kill me. We were getting close, and I had a really good understanding of how every animatronic worked. At least, I thought I did. Until I was told about how Freddy and Foxy actually worked, in which it entirely changed my entire outlook on how I was going to complete 420 mode. What I found out is Freddy would be stunned every time the camera is put on him. Meaning, if you were quick enough, you could make it so Freddy could never move from the starting room, which, when you put into perspective, is crazy, even though not really plausible in 420 mode. I also learned that the camera does not need to be put on Pirate Cove to delay Foxy. All it does is give you a visual of how close he is to running. So, with this knowledge, me, I could have my cam on 4B and just look at Freddy, and then when I wanted to look at Foxy, I would shut the right door to look at him safely. This also makes it so I only have to check the right door light when I see Chica on cam 4B or when he leaves from cam 4B, right. because she can only get to my door by first going to this camera. With this knowledge, I had a new strategy set in motion, all from one chatter saying how Foxy worked. Where are you going? That was so dumb, boys. No shit. <sighs> I 
is a very scuff run. What is this? This is some crazy RNG right now. I need that bit. Yeah, I need life. Thank you so much. Well, this is a rough run, gonna be honest. Like, Foxy's already rearing to go again. See, I don't know if I like this strat. I don't know, man. Like, it's good, don't get me wrong. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. This is scuffed. <sighs> like, if Foxy... If I get good RNG of Foxy on this run, it's easy. I get it. Um, but, man... If Foxy isn't nice to you, you're totally screwed on, on this strat. This is already a GG's. I don't even know why I'm still going, to be honest. For fun. I need, I need, I need Chica to come to the door. I think I might die to Fox, Foxy here. I just have to pray with Foxy now at this point. All right, from five percent, I just have to pray with Foxy. I just have to hope that me look uh, look the uh, amount of times I looked at Freddy delayed Foxy enough, just enough to not kill me in this two percent, this three percent here. Look the looker looker. <clears throat> and then then I have to hope that I get long song. Pray everyone. Everyone pray. We pray, boys. Keep singing for me, Freddy. Sing forever. <gasps> Let's freaking go! Yes! Holy shit! <laughs> 420 mode done! 420 mode done! After two days, FNAF 1 was complete. I was surprised to find FNAF 1 still scary. Not scary in terms of I was actually scared, but that it still instilled the same feelings I had all those years ago when I first played FNAF 1. Something I believe a lot of horror games don't do these days is actually require skill to beat the game. FNAF 1 never takes away what makes it scary in the first place. The foundation never changes. Instead, you become immune to the scares it will throw at you in the hopes of affecting the game. If you just heard what I said and took that as a sign of a bad horror game, the next time you're scared in your own house at night, ask yourself, why are you scared? Then maybe you'll understand the horror of horror. FNAF 1 requires you to know the ins and outs of every animatronic for you to succeed. And for the rare player that does decide to tackle FNAF 1 in its entirety, you will respect all of what made it scary in the first place whilst having an incredibly deep understanding of how to complete the game, even when the developer, Scott, himself, thought it was to be impossible. FNAF 1 is a diamond in the rough, much like Slender the Eight Pages, the game that walked so FNAF could run. Whether FNAF 2, my most played FNAF game, still holds up, we will have to find out next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay weary. Mm -hmm.